So what we're going to be doing now is having a look at some stitched work and some fabric. I've been sorting out my studio and you'll see just behind me um, some changes so I'll tell you about that um, and <laughs> I was gonna say oh it's a real treat for you but it's 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 you don't normally see around my studio it's not a studio tour but I'll just give you a little kind of outline of how I store some of my fabric okay so let's go okay so <laughs> I'll just as I look at this this is still a work in progress. I just literally today, um, this morning, um, brought down the top half of this um, uh, shelving. It's upstairs and there's the bottom part of the shelving um, that I need to bring down and I'm going to place it under here. So let's have a look at my my first um, fabric storage were these two bins and um, I had originally been keeping the um, fabric on my shelf and then it was just like okay so you're moving into your studio so um, you can put them in here and it will keep them and I've got lots of wool and things like that at the bottom but all my fabric a lot of my fabric is in here, but as I've grown into fabric, I've then amassed even more. So what I do is I keep the bigger pieces of fabric there and the smaller ones and the smaller pieces here. And I'll, um, yeah, just kind of tell you briefly what we have here. It's going to get my seat, <laughs> let me take a seat. Okay, so, the bottom ones are the first, again, the first um, smaller storage containers that I brought and I had, you know, lots of, um, I was using a lot of African fabrics and other fabrics and it was just like, I was, to go into those big storage containers, it was just like getting a bit much and so I thought, let me buy these and then I went on and brought the smaller ones. So these have got things like the spindles, I spin cotton, so we've got spindles there, um, as I say I'm not going to, do you want to see, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that right now, because I don't want to make this video too long, but I'll just generally show you, so sculptural looms, yeah, we can have a look in some of them, so these are mini looms that I've made that I haven't yet finished, there's just, bits that have to go on. Look at this frame that fell down. Oh. Yeah, see, I was just trying to, um, still trying to sort things out. So these have got mini looms that I need to finish and um, just add the finishing touches on there and then they're ready to go out. But um, I had an issue when I was um, I sold a piece of work that had a wooden stand and the wooden stand got cut. I don't know whether, anyway, yeah, the wooden stand got cut, so I'm not sure about sending wood through the post. Anyway, so in the smaller um, containers, we have things like, I've got Indian fabric, small scraps, I've got project ideas, one and two, things that have been machine stitched, things that are waiting to be machine stitched. Um, I've got um, fabric that's waiting to be dyed, so all my p white fabric goes in there. And then, and then what have we got here? Painted fabric for stitching, so um, for stitch pieces. So when I've got, say like these um, pieces, I might put, say, you know, painted fabric behind it or, or it or mount it on there or use some bits from there. I've got leather here and leather thongs. I do a lot of, um, I've got some burnt uh, leather that I've worked on um, in here. So we've got brown leather and um, yeah, the leather is, um, I like working on leather. I use my um, wood burning tool on there and I've got 
kind of like, you know, some large pieces as well as smaller pieces. And what I do is designs on them. Um, and I've not really shared these because I'm still kind of working out what I'm, I'm going to, how I'm going to use them. So I just practice and I love the smell of the leather. <laughs> I love it. It's so lovely. Um, so things that, as I said, Mr. Sheen stitched. So in here, things have, that have been dyed and are waiting for their next stage. Um, I did a lot of fabric dyes. Um, vintage fabric, felt, tags and embellishments. So that's really the, the containers. And then on this shelf, I've got the, um, I've got my books. I've put the books there. I'm not sure whether they're going to stay there. Um, I, as I say, I'm rearranging the studio and I want it to work better. I've got all my beads and jewellery here. So these are what I use in terms of embellish, embellishing um, the fabric pieces. Um, we've got ribbons up here and fabric that I've worked on that again needs to be finished. And um, even over here, so these are pieces that I um, dyed and this has been clay dyed. And, and so again, I want to, this needs to be moved now. It's been sitting there for a while. But so that's the uh, fabric. And I'll just plonk it up there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've still got to tidy this up. And I've still got, um, I've got the paper, some paper stuffs. Um, I've got um, scrapbooking paper and um, handmade paper. They're still upstairs that need to go down. And as I say, I want to move these out and um or down somehow i don't know how i'm gonna do it and um because what's left upstairs is is about this height yeah so um it's that height so i want it to fit under there and i want to keep this but again i just need to really go through a lot of stuff needs to need needs to go through and i felt like yeah i had the um had the energy to um make a start of it so i was glad i was able to do that so that's the fabric and i want to show you um something that i've learned from the fabric as well it's a piece that i've done so let's have a look at it okay so here is a piece that i created and let's get in the other bits <laughs> from it. So we've got these nice beads there. Um, I'm not sure what they're... Anyway, I was going to say bone, but I don't know. Anyway, so I'd used wire at the bottom. Let's just come in a little bit. Oops. That's too far. So you can see, so it's a lot of detail, a lot of stitching and um, I loved creating it and I loved adding the beads. Um, but what I didn't realize, I'd used wire to attach these beads at the bottom. But over time, what the wire will do is rust. Depending on where you are, the wire will rust. So I have to find a diff different method for adhering. And then I thought, I'm not even sure I want to, to uh, put the beads back on. I might just like this one um, at the top. Um, put put another matching one at the bottom and then I might leave it at that. Um, but it's got a lot of elements to it. And the wood which I talked about, so this one, a dowel, this was a dowel that I brought. So I might have to reconsider the use of the dowel and the use of wire because again depending on where you are when you're using wire in um, pieces of your art it might rust and we've got a little bit of rust on here and I'm not sure it's even going to be something that 
can um, come off. No, so it's not going to come off. So what I'm going to have to do with this piece is look at the methods by which I hang it. What you can do is, um, and what I'll probably do is insert um, a space in the back so that when you buy it, you can put your own dowel in there and I'll have, say, the leather um, piece that you can use to hang it. But um, I just found that um, yeah, I just found that you you own just found that you only know these things when you give your pieces time to sit and reflect on them. So sitting with this, I'm going to change the system by which it's hung and the wire, and I'm going to you know as I say. Um, when I'm creating pieces and I'm using wire I have to make sure either it's coated or you know um, or you use a different method to attach the piece Look at the sunshine now coming through um, so that's the stitched piece and I hope that seeing some of the um, the way in which my artwork not artwork, the fabric is stored, might have given you some ideas, but I'm glad I put put them, I changed the system around and put my um, containers on the shelving because they were starting to topple over a bit. Um, so this way it looks a lot neater and tidier. So.